My name is Ken Hansen. Uh, I'm an artist who lives in uh, Lazy Point, Amagansett. Uh, I work primarily with oil paint, but I, I do sculpture and uh, pen and ink as well. So my, my family uh, has a number of artists um, through the family tree. Um, I, uh, I, went, I went to college uh, to study art, and um, I, I didn't find that uh, it really offered anything, but um, I left college and uh, I kept on on my own. You know, look up to the greats like uh, Picasso and Dali, um, and Renoir, you know, um, I always wanted to be one of the big guys like that, but um, you know, I, I, but I, I, that's why I stick primarily to oil paint. I was born in 1972 and um, Atari came out uh, in the, you know, mid to late 70s. And I don't know if you guys saw the old Atari games. It was all pixelated and stuff. And uh, as time went on, I, I noticed that, you know, the, the artwork got better in the video games, but it, it was basically that. That's what kind of like motivated me. I'm just like, that would be a cool thing to do. Like, and if you look at this one up here, um, it's uh, it's not just that, it's, it, it's like a mix of two stuff. It's like realistic, uh, like uh, greenery. And then there's the pixelated statue. So it's kind of like fusing two different styles, you know? I thought that would be kind of cool to try. Um, this is a painting, um, it's a statue. I really enjoy painting statues, um, but I do it in this style, the pixelated style I call it, um, because uh, once again, you know, as a kid, I was really into Atari and video games, and it was, it was really fascinating to watch the, the evolution of how video games came from just blocks, like, you know, little squares to, you know, so I kind of tried to find a, a way to incorporate it into art. And that's, that's where this came from. I also do um, the pixelated sculpture. And um, the reason I got into that was my, my uncle, when I was a kid, he, he was also an artist. Um, and he, uh, he gave me clay for, for Christmas. And I, I just lo love working with clay. And um, this is air drying clay. I don't have room in here for a kiln. So I just uh, use that. It's the air drying terracotta. Well, I, I've been coming out here. My, my grandparents' house is across the street, so I've been coming here since I was a baby. And um, and it really, like, you know, it, it was, it, it's awesome. I mean, it's it's like paradise here. And I always took it for granted. Like, you know, I, I would go on summer break and I'd come back to school and be like, you know, and everybody would be like, what did you do? I was like, oh, we went to the ocean. We went on the boat fishing. And, you know, I just assumed everyone did that, you know, but uh, I just didn't know, like, how fortunate I was. And um, so it's like... You gotta take the time, I think, to appreciate what you have and, you know, your surroundings and just to appreciate the wonders of the world, you know? It's, it's, it's incredible, you know? I mean, even the grimy parts, like uh, the city and stuff, I mean, there's beauty everywhere, I think. Uh, I'm 50, I just turned 50, and I still don't know what life holds in store for me, but, you know, I'm just gonna do it. And uh, if, if you make up your mind and you think you're good at something, do it. Like, you know, like, don't let anything stop you. Like, don't let anything get in the way of your vision, you know? That's what I say. Um, may I have a sip of beer? Of course. Do what you want, bro. It's your crib. All right. We cut, we cut everything here. Okay, cool. Cool, yeah. I'm going to... Hold my beer. Bartender, uh, shot. <laughs> shot right now. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.